Hi, my name is Tadeusz Pechalski and this is the third attempt to record this video. Today something for the fixed wingers and the INAF. What's the, not the most, but one of the most important things about the maiden and the first flights of the new airplane is to trim your servos so that all the control surfaces are in a position that allows the airplane to fly it straight. Yes, if you are using a stabilized mode like Acro on Angle, the flight controller take care about trimming because the I term inside of the flight controller takes care about the trim in flight. But still, it's a good idea to help the flight controller to know what are the natural, no, natural, natural positions of all the control surfaces. Back in the old days, you had to trim it manually. There were some ways with some switches, adjustment. Yeah, it was doable, but oh, so complicated. This is why for quite a long time, right now, there is something called servo auto trim. Servo auto trim is a flight. It's not really a flight mode. It's more like a switch that does the following. After enabled, it computes the average servo position. And after two seconds, store this new servo position as the servo midpoint. This is why after the auto trim, all the surfaces are in the position that allows you to fly it straight without any, almost any, ingression from the PIT or PIF controller. How to use it? Pretty simple. Go to configurator, go to modes and assign the servo auto trim flight mode to one of the switches. Then take off, fly for a minute, for a minute, for a second, start flying levelly on without turning, without uh, pitching up or diving, just level flight on the throttle you are usually using during the flight and enable the auto trim. Auto trim after being enabled for two seconds stores the average servo position and after two seconds stores this as new midpoint. This is why the pit controller does not have to use the I term to compute the I term dynamically to allow you for level flight. And for example, during the throw, it does not have to guess what's the correct position for all the servers. Now, the last thing is to save. The new endpoints are saved after you disarm. If you disable the auto trim flight mode, then the endpoints, the midpoints, will be reverted to the previous value. So, after two seconds passed and your servos are trimmed, land with auto trim enabled and then disarm. At the moment of disarm, the new midpoints will be stored and you will be able to use them. Next time you power up. The last question is when to use this auto trim feature. More or less, every time you changed something about any control surface on your airplane, flying wing, anything that has control surfaces. Because every time you change something, you change the linkage, you change the horn, you change the servos, you are changing the natural position for the servos. So every time you touch something, do an auto trim. You don't have to use just every weekend because it doesn't make sense, but every time you change about a servo or the control surface, to the auto trimming. The flight controller will be very, very happy. The takeoffs and landings will be smoother, better. It's just worth it. That's all for today. Thumbs up, please. Please subscribe and until the next one. Ciao.